I've been inspired to uh, speak my mind and encouraged to do so since as far back as around late 2014, 2015. Do the math. How long, how long has that been and upload this video in 2020? And as you're watching this after 2020, know that I'm still inspired to speak my mind to this very day and in the future. So, and one of those men who inspire me as a black uh, controversial speaker slash comedian slash rapper named Tommy Sotomayor. You may have heard of him. You may haven't. That's okay. Because I have a playlist dedicated to the videos that I really found inspiring from this man. And uh, that I really loved. You know, he talks about the black community, the truth, I feel. And he also talks about the world in general. I don't agree with everything he says, but, or not on fully on board with some of the things he says, but for the most part, we're in agreement with each other. And, uh, yeah. So, so if you're interested in checking out Tommy Sotomayor, uh, I have a playlist dedicated that I think it's called Tommy Speaks the Truth or something like that. But, Anyways, let's move on with this video. I'm going to talk about a few things that <laughs> I ran across on YouTube and uh, that prompt me to do this fucking video. First, we're going to talk about uh, the Looney Tunes contra. I'm talking about cartoons and shit. And then we're going to talk about this man, this veteran actor named Terry Crews. He made a tweet that pissed a lot of people off. We're going to get to that afterwards. So let's talk about the Looney Tunes first. A revival of Looney Tunes is on a, sh a, a channel called HBO Max. We'll have Elmer Fudd without his shotgun. Now, I remember hearing this shit. It was, I was always waking up because I always go to sleep with the radio on. I, was, I woke up to this shit one morning. I was like, Elmer Fudd without his, without his gun. That is fucking weird. Fucking insane. And, uh, I just can't imagine Elmer, Elmer Flo without a shotgun. I just can't. Showrunner Peter Browngart made that abundantly clear in an interview. He adds, we're not doing guns. But we can do cartoony violence, he says. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever Elmer Good uses Elmer, whenever Elmer Fudd used his gun, did any of the Looney Tunes ever fucking die from a bullet shot? That Bugs Bunny don't getting killed when he got no, not Bugs Bunny. That uh, that fucking Daffy Duck end up getting killed when he was shot in the face with the with the fucking shotgun. No, he just went black and his beak fell off and shit. Elmer Fudd hasn't even killed anybody. I mean, shit. <laughs> that is fucking stupid. Taking his gun away from him. That's his fucking trademark. It's like taking my glasses away from me. I can't fucking see them. Why are criminals on this bed off without his glasses? Hi, I can't see. I'm crumbling off video. According to my boss, he says I'm better off without my glasses. What the fuck? That's insane. I bet the moment he fucking passed this fucking uh, stipulation or guideline for this upcoming revival of the Looney Tunes, she must have, I'm assuming that she fucked his brains out when he got home. 
I assume she did. Oh, baby, we're going for equality. Oh, we're progressing. We're reaching our goal. We're reaching our agenda uh, to make this shit boring. Oh, 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 don't come yet. I'm not doing talking. Oh, oh, and another thing, and another thing. Holy shit. That is insane. I mean, it's bad enough that cartoons have gotten worse today. They're fucking shit. I mean, I seen a revival of Ninja Turtles, turned it off in like two seconds. Like, this ain't shit. Tom and Jerry don't even pique my interest. I seen a revival of Looney Tunes. I like the Tiny Tunes better than the fucking revival of Looney Tunes. Now they're reviving it again. And this time, I assume it's going to be fucking worse than the last revival. Fuck cartoons. They ain't shit. They make kids. That's why kids are walking around running into fucking telephone poles and shit and fucking tree branches and tripping over every goddamn thing. And they thought like this. Like that, dude. These cartoons. <laughs> These cartoons are fucking making them crazy. That's what I'm trying to get across. They lose their fucking minds, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kids are losing their fucking minds today, man. That's why they're fucking dumb. That's why they grow up to be stupid ass adults and shit. Oh, which way did he go though? Which way did he go? He went that way! Thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. Oh, uh, which way did he go again? Stupid motherfuckers. They grow up to be fucking looters ruining my motherfucking life. Looting out the fucking stores that they rely on to get their food and shit over some dude that got killed by a dumbass cop. They grow up to be those motherfuckers. Before watching them stupid ass cartoons. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, there's still hope for our children, but children can't raise children. That's what I'm saying. Because they're having babies younger and younger and younger and younger, and they watch these fucked up cartoons younger and younger and younger. Oh! Shit, you got 16 year old fucking girls having two kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? The kid is 10 years old, she's only 26 and still got the mind of a fucking child. <laughs> you know. I don't want to take you to the park. Go watch Looney Tunes. In fact, there's a revival. On the Fox Channel. What the fuck is it called? Uh. Oh. HBO Max. Watch that. Uh, I might cook you dinner tonight. Or you're going to have to settle, settle for peanut butter and jelly for the ninth time. I love you. Now go play your fucking Xbox or PlayStation. Far be it for me to tell you how to raise your children, but I've seen some bad fucking parents, and I continue to see them to this very fucking day. So there is a benefit of me taking the public transportation as opposed to driving to my destination, because I can get on a bus and see the motherfuckers and act. <laughs> Fucked up shit, man. I'm still seeing children to this very day. They be like fucking like nine years old. Walking by them so they get on the fucking bus with their older friends who are also children. And they have cotton in their fucking hair. They don't even fucking do this to their hair before they leave the fucking door. They have cotton in their fucking hair. I wish I was making it up to be funny, but I'm not. It's the God's honest truth. I can't tell you how many kids that I've seen when you can see the fucking cotton in the back of their heads and shit. It's fucking ridiculous. Then let me move on before I, look, before I get a bus of fucking brain aneurysm over this shit. Terry Crews. A veteran black actor. Motherfucker's darker than I am, as a matter of fact. But I digress. He, he tweets, he says, three days ago, before this video, he says... Defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. 
So people got fucking upset over that tweet. And he also finishes saying that uh, equality is the truth. Like it or not, we are all in this together. People got mad. He spoke truth. Even though I personally don't believe in no fucking white supremacy. But he did speak truth, though, because if, you, if you're going to fight white supremacy without white people, that's going to create black supremacy because you defeat white supremacy. Black are now supreme. And, be, and, and, and guess what happens? Black supremacy is born. Makes sense to me. But people got so fucking upset. And it's funny because Terry Crews is trying to be all for black. He's trying to be pro-black pro and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's all for Black Lives Matter, but he takes in a different direction. On the truth side, not the fucking bullshit side. So they don't like that shit. And I got some more tweets from this man to share with you to prove my point. Yep, he says, like it or not, we're all in this together. I forgot to read that part. Excuse me on that. Uh, yeah, so... Also, Cruz also tweeted that very same day that any black person calling him a coon or Uncle Tom for promoting equality is a black supremacist because they say who's black and who's not black. Once again, he is correct. How do I know this? Let's say I go to Harvard University. I come home speaking with intellect and articularity. They're going to say, you're talking white. You ain't black. You were born in the hood, man. You're supposed to use no dictionary words. And I got to fucking look at uh, every time you speak. I got to look up the word in the dictionary to improve my education, to improve my vocabulary. Like it's a bad thing. I personally feel I should use a dictionary more often. I love looking up words in a dictionary and shit. And then I speak it and I get and I get to fuck with black people and say, oh, I say a word that I learned and I, and I just look back. I just sit back and see if they know what I'm talking about. But it's even more hilarious when, when they don't know what I mean, but they don't ask for it. I don't know why they don't ask what I mean when I use certain words and shit that I just learned from the dictionary. They just go, mm-hmm. Like they know what I'm saying. Sometimes I have the sometimes I have the goal to say. Do you, uh, do you know what that word means? They go, uh-uh. I'm like, why do you didn't ask me? <laughs> Shit, man. You didn't ask me what the word meant. I mean, don't be afraid to ask what that word means. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, that's what they, yeah, they say who's black and who's not and shit, you know. And um, what else? Is on here that I note that I jot it down. Cruz says his sayings come from the heart. He's for the black community. First, followed by the world. And he also hopes to see a better future for black people. Nothing wrong with that. Terry Cruz wants to be the solution. I'm all for it, Terry. But hey, but apparently you have dumb fucks that act on their fucking feelings as opposed to fucking logic. Seeing the fucking tweet, losing their fucking minds and shit like their minds ain't already lost. I don't know. I don't, uh, there's just no hope for them people, man. Like I, just like Tommy Sotomayor you know, said, all the motherfuckers that looted those stores, broke in, took all the shit out and stole it and shit, need to be fucking shot. They should have got fucking shot. I totally agree. <sighs> yeah, that's it for my notes. Yeah, so Terry Crews is coming from, he's coming from a good place. You know, I mean, he, he means well with his tweets. He's not trying to rile anybody up. But, hey, you can't care. You, you can't care who doesn't like your shit, man. You can't because no matter what you do, it's always somebody that's not going to like you. No matter what you say, 
there's always somebody that's not going to like what you said. So why the fuck do you care about somebody not liking what you said? Because you can't escape that. Just like you can't escape people liking what you say and people liking you. It happens. It fucking happens. So yeah. With that being said, <laughs> this is why Chromosome signing out. Peace and love. Be safe out there. Good health to you all. And uh, do yourself a favor. Come here. I'm going to tell you something. Steer your kids away from these fucking cartoons today. Because they'll be better off, trust me. If they, if you must have them watch cartoons, have them watch the old Tom and Jerry, 1960s, 70s Tom and Jerry, 1950s Tom and Jerry, or, and Looney Tunes and shit, when, when shit was actually fucking funny. You can have them watch that instead. Fucking sweating over here like a fucking pig. Oh, one more thing. HBO Max... And who's who's a who's a who's a showrunner? Peter Browngart is fucking cancer. Stay clear of fucking way, cause it's only gonna fucking get worse.